spoke the truth. Ah! Hold tight, Crawford. They're coming. I can smell them. <laughs> <laughs> you were right, Doctor. It's hopeless. What will you do? I think he would have liked to see his works donated to the British Museum. Mr. Parker, your comet story has a great deal of promise. Tell me, 76 years after the Bolleskin business, do you really think... He stumbled over something extraordinary at Ilsmouth. His writings and sketches are proof of it. Yes, but he came home a raving lunatic. 
I don't want to go on any wild goose chases. You'll have solid proof, Mr. Griffith. I'll go to Ilsmouth. I'll find the exact place where Boliskin made his sketches. I'll take photographs. If I finance your trip, and if you take the first steamship to America, Will you be there in time for the passage of the comet? I'll be there with three nights to spare before Halley's Comet passes. I've already arranged to stay with a local doctor, a fella called Cobble. I'm willing to take a chance. I just hope this is worth it. Mr. Griffith, your readers are going to love you. Bring me back some sensational photographs. I want hard evidence of everything you say. I cannot afford to print crackpot ideas. <laughs>